Hello everybody, Tbot here with a tutorial on my Better Edge plugin. This one has yet to be released to GSPAR, but it will be soon. And in preparation for that, I did want to get this tutorial put together and sent out to you guys so you can kind of see what is possible with this Better Edge plugin. Um, just like all my other plugins designed to work with things like my feedback machine, and most recently my Master Mod plugin uh, is a wonderful thing that works with this. Uh, that will be released for free or cheap 95 uh, to juice bar very soon um, with that being said let me go ahead and just show you what is capable here um, obviously typically with uh, just like any of my other plugins you're going to need to drag like a brightness or contrast or levels or something else onto this clip first in order to achieve what you want i'm just going to kind of use my master mod plugin as an example to show you this as my master mod plugin has brightness contrast levels and all those other things baked into it so rather than dragging a whole bunch of different effects on in order to accomplish this i'm going to just use my master mod plugin but you can use the individual effects if you wish in order to achieve the same thing um in this case um you know you want to try to expose and kind of tighten up the, the darkness of that clip um obviously the background color is not what i want to see um so whatever we can do to darken that up is going to help additionally um we're going to go ahead and drag my better edge in here uh, in this case, we can drop it right above the clip if we want, or we can drag it right in. So, you know what, let's actually do that. We're going to go ahead and drag this right onto the clip, and let's go ahead and get this selected and turn off these other guys so that you can see what this does. So, as you can see on the left-hand side, um, it's pretty dark, so we're going to want to kind of go back into our master mod here and adjust uh, in, or in order to get what we want. Uh, levels is really useful here in order to kind of dial in the brightness and contrast in order to expose just the subject that you want. Um, next, after you do that, let's go ahead and minimize this. Uh, we go to my better edge and you'll have the ability to turn the content master on and off. This allows you to expose the original content underneath it while still having the edge there. Um, super nice. Sometimes you may want to put this on a VPN. Maybe you just want to expose a slight amount of the original content with the outlines. Maybe you just want the outlines. This allows you to do that. Additionally, you have the top edge, and just like all my other plugins, it splits it into two different uh, edges. So you have a top edge and you have a bottom edge, which can be controlled individually, split into different directions. So far, so you know you could put this on a BPM, you could put this on a timeline, whatever you wish. Um, you also have the ability to colorize the edges. Uh, by default, it is turned on, so you can set the edge to whatever color you wish. Uh, you can set the contrast for that uh, for that edge, and you can say whether you want it to preserve the alpha or not uh, on that edge. Additionally, you have brightness and contrast. Typically, this doesn't do too much to the clip, um, but it will do a little bit. You have the weight of the uh, of the edge detect, which you know, it does exactly what it says, is increase the weight of that line. Typically, I like to keep that weight very low, less than one, and actually just affect the offset of it. So you can affect the offset on the X or the Y as far as you want in order to create crazy looks like this, um, you know, where you're splitting and having really nice blend of the overlay in the middle. Uh, so the edge can be an edge, or it can be a really large edge. That's kind of the idea here. So I'll just go ahead and I'm happy with this right there. So we'll just leave that there. You also have the ability to offset that edge on the Y. Um, obviously, if you offset it on the Y too much, you're going to expose um, the outside of your clip. So, you know, plan accordingly for that. Um, but, you know, there we go. Maybe I want her eyes like not quite aligning with themselves. And that creates a really weird look. So let's go ahead and leave that. Um, I also have the ability to ripple uh, these top and bottom layers. So you ripple attenuation. This is, you know, what it exactly is, is a ripple within uh, Resolume. And if I re-expose the original clip here a little bit, um, you'll see that when I, uh, I can adjust the phase of that ripple, I can say that I don't want it to be as intense. And so now if I go ahead and I set this on a timeline and I speed it up a little bit, and uh, let's increase that intensity a little bit, you'll see that we've created a, a ripple effect on that top clip, which is just affecting the outline on this clip. Uh, this can look really cool, especially if you don't have the content on. And uh, if we come down to our second bottom edge here and we set the color to you know, find purple, whatever, um, and then we turn up our bottom edge, you can actually see that by doing things like adjusting the weight of our bottom edge, or maybe we set the offset of it in the other direction from where we were, uh, you can now create these dual color 
uh, wiggling outline effects using my Better Edge plugin. Additionally, you can obviously ripple both of them independently. So if you wanted them rippling at different speeds or if you wanted them to have different thicknesses, you could do that. Um, totally up to you as to how far you want to take that. Um, each of these parameters obviously can be placed on a timeline or on a BPM sync, which allows you to wiggle those edges back and forth from each other. Um, yada, yada, yada. Um, not much more to explain than that. Uh, you know, obviously you have your top edge and you have your bottom edge, which can be turned on, oops, top edge and bottom edge, which can be turned off independently from each other. So if things like a BPM sync and then maybe a bounce, set that down to one beat, right? And then we could do the same thing on the bottom edge, do BPM sync over the course of four beats, right? Um, maybe put that one on a, a bounce as well, rather than a loop. And so now you've got these cool edge effects, which are super useful. Um, again, like I've said a million times, these work really well with my other plugins. Uh, just to show you an example, here's my feedback machine once again. Go ahead and drag this guy in here. Um, and let's see what this is doing. And right off the bat, you can see it's already doing some cool stuff, but let's, uh, let's adjust those bases and those midpoints, and let's find where we get a happy point um, right now. But regardless, you can see that using these two plugins stacked on top of one another, you can create uh, really, really wild things right off the, right out of the gate. Um, if I come back and I adjust on the master mod initially, um, my brightness and contrast in the clip, or maybe if I pull out the original content entirely, um, you'll actually see more of the feedback show through. Um, let's see here. Come back to the feedback machine. That brightness and contrast boosted, boosted in the right directions. And then you start to see some of it, some more of it poke through there. It does take some fine adjustments in order to make it happen exactly the way that you want, of course. Um, but these two plugins do work really well together. Um, I like how they're, you know, in this case, the greens and the purples are going to create um, pretty wild feedback options. Um, and again, just by itself, without anything else, this looks great. Um, I have absolutely no complaints about how this looks. Right from get right from the get go, um, but that's a pretty basic explainer on my Better Edge plugin. Hopefully, this was informative. Uh, sorry for the little bit of confusion here. But again, like I have come out with what four plugins now in the last few months, and they are all designed to work in tandem with each other. So, if you have one, please get them all. You'll love them all. They all do different things. I'm trying to solve different main workflow issues within Resolume, which never really made sense to me. Um, and rather than stacking all these effects anymore now, at least it's one thing. So appreciate your time watching this. Appreciate the support if you've purchased my plugins. Um, please take a moment to go and check out Better Edge, as well as my feedback machine and my intensity generator, and my gift to the community, a cheap free 95 uh, plugin for my master mod, which will be available soon as well which gives you a little bit more fine control over the initial piece of content that you're feeding into this. So between these things, if you, uh, if you aren't making cool stuff, I don't know what to say. Um, this has definitely simplified a number of things uh, within Resolume in my workflow. So hopefully it helps you too. Be easy, guys.